Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here to our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US by stocks. Today, we will have a look at QCom, uh, QL Communication Incorporated, traded at NASDAQ. Well, actually, uh, today it was incredible jump of QCom stock. Uh, we can see it made almost 15% in one day action, which is very unusual, but of course, the preset for it was kind of obvious for possible grow up but uh, yeah no one could of course predict such a high jump uh, also with a deep jump here so it has also a void in between so it wasn't just a grow it was jump and grow uh, this is incredible but now the question is what will happen further will it grow further up or will it decline will the correction take place and uh, what we can expect for it well uh, no need to say that uh, for these kind of jumps, we can say shortly that the wave, the upwards wave in the boost mode, so it's unpredictable what could happen. Uh, but to understand that it's indeed the wave and it's in boost mode, let's first have a look at the general situation for the stock. So after having the down dips at 17th of March, as many stocks actually we discuss here, uh, the QCOM started to rise and shown a uh, very strong actually upgrade tendency it consisted of two lines actually it was the first trend uh, took place uh, until the 15 of June trend one and then actually the second trend started the slower trend uh, started and this slower trend actually today spiked really with a significant uh, jump so this is the trend two and the trend two was reconfirmed many times it actually started about 14 15 of june and it was reconfirmed at about 23rd of june uh 7th of july then there was some piercing of it uh at 24th of july and then the moving average 50 which is this blue line worked as a support here then it was recovery towards moving average 20 which is the green line by the way moving averages are depicted here on the left and then uh, it's very interesting that just at the moment when all uh, two moving averages 20 and 50 yesterday starting to show uh, not only the upwards behavior but also first and second derivatives being positive so meaning it behaved like this so goes up with acceleration both moving averages uh, we see this incredible spike also after the the white candle here. This is really, really interesting situation. And you can see immediately that we went to overbought zone and RSI. And also you can see that uh, yesterday we crossed, uh, we were just at the zero and the MACD index. So finishing downwards wave and we just crossed it today with a big jump. So it was very bullish yesterday, really like a spring loaded and now it's released so the question what will happen next well it's quite obvious that this wave uh, so after the previous wave ended this wave started slowly last for trading sessions and now it's in so-called boost mode boost mode is a situation when the wave uh, for example if it's a price wave it's going like that and then instead of going for uh, for correction it immediately goes crazily up uh, and simultaneously moving averages are actually showing its first and second derivative going positive. That's exactly the situation we saw here. So that this dark line is actually price. It's go up like crazy and then it beasts to RSI mode in overbought situation, so above 70. Now, simply speaking, if you are already in the position, well, it's very probable that opening would be with a jump up but correction is inevitable. So there are two situations given that tomorrow is Friday and people will be afraid to hold over the weekend. There are two options. First option will be that we will have a candle, the red candle in the middle, and then all kind of volatilities will take place. Or another option is that we will have a shooting star, meaning it will be, um, it will start with the jump. So we'll have the dark candle here, and then it will have very high, uh, upward shadow so something like that in both so if the first case takes place so the red candle it still might possible it will mean the slow correction next week and if the the second case happens so the shooting star the black candle it will mean that next week opening will be enormous correction downwards so it will be really with jump uh, in both cases if you're already in position it's advised to wait maybe 
don't sell immediately you will see how it opens if at the first case yeah some volatility will take place maybe it's better to sell uh, if it opens a little bit lower it's better to sell as close as possible to today's closure if it opens higher you can wait until I don't know how much until you go high once you see the significant um, like uh, incredibly fast downwards so the shooting star is forming then you can sell you know the game is over um, for next week most probably strong correction will take place because there is no solid indication that the stock should go in that beast mode although it was turning to acceleration but not that fast so we will see but in beast modes no one can predict what we will maximum of tomorrow or it will be immediate correction so these two scenarios are possible in both cases it's advised to see how opening takes place then you will recognize either it's the dark candle as, or with shooting star or the red candle uh, with volatility and then for next week uh, advises to avoid qcom wait for correction see what will happen how it will settle down uh, if we see clear formation of the faster trend uh, trend free and then we will see some let's say after the correction some volatility here and then further move up then we will know that it's indeed a new trend otherwise uh, trend 2 might continue so we still need to just to see next week how the stock will decide itself but this was incredible movement today and you know what to do then for the stock and how to understand its behavior for next week that was it for qcom thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our channel